I think that many NGOs should turn into is an activist think tank with a lot of knowledge and a lot of, uh, of data, which is, which, as you say, is, does demand resources, but I think there's a, a limit or a line and it becomes really illegitimate, not only when you lie, but when you try to terrify the other side. And they're using, you know, when I get phone calls saying, how come you're not afraid? I become afraid. Yeah. And this, so, so we have to, and I want to say a, a, a word about, about the UN itself, because we are, it, it seems as if the UN holds the, the authentic human rights and it's, you know, state, no, what happened, for example, in the last ex, uh, election of CEDAW, which which supposed to be a professional committee and not a political one, is that the, the Global North has, has forsaken this committee, not even, you know, promoting their candidates. And we have representatives from, you know, not, not very famously feminist countries, uh, including, I think, Spain, who nominated a person who is against abortion. So the, the infiltration of this you know, mm -hmm. semi-human rights discourse is it within the human rights, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the UN. Mm -hmm.